Hello sniffers, flighters, and newbies. Did you see the title of this video? Are you shocked? Are you excited? Oh, don't be upset. This is Brando. Brando, introduce yourself. For those of you who don't know Brando, he's my baby mustache parakeet. He's spoiled to death. I'm obsessed with him. I love him. And for those of you who are new to this channel, my name is Marlene McCohen. There are a lot of animals on this channel, specifically birds, specifically really exciting exotic birds, and specifically a hyacinth macaw. Are you guys ready? Yeah. Yeah, I don't even know why. I'm very excited for you guys to see this. Here we go to show you guys that lighting is everything. <laughs> but besides for that, did you guys hear what's downstairs? Oh, there it is. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. The first most important lesson for you guys. This should help you. You should, you should wear headphones just so you can see if you actually want a large, fancy bird. Cockatoos, macaws, birds are loud. And if you don't know how to train them and tame them and not give them dependency issues, then you may not be able to fix it. In case you guys haven't figured out, this is Glory. Glory belongs to Carolyn. Carolyn Von Petzold, also a YouTuber. And I'm babysitting Glory. Glory's cool, me and Glory have been hanging out. And not only am I babysitting Glory, so not one, but two hyacinth macaws. We're babysitting love as well. And on top of that, we're babysitting hope. So you guys are gonna see it in a video coming up exactly why and what happened. So, Glory has a lot of dependency issues, maybe some abandonment issues. I don't exactly know her whole story. But yesterday I spent all day working with Glory on some of that and we made a little leeway. There are some things that have been cool, some cool developments that I have had with Glory, Love, and Hope, which I don't think Carolyn and herself thought would happen after the first day we have succeeded to have a very quiet household even with these birds i don't know if you guys watch carolyn's channel you know that she was struggling with how loud glory is how dependent glory is and that is hard to change you know there's a lot of factors that come in that but one thing that carolyn always says and almost everyone that has birds say when they come into my house they're like wow your birds are so quiet there's a lot of factors that go into that there's training but there's adapting to the environment there's including them as a family. There's teaching them that they are not gonna be abandoned. It's all different. You guys know my birds are rescues, so particularly this is something that I'm pretty good at. But Glory would need a lot of work. Glory would need to like be in this house for a long time. Not in terms of like training for Carolyn, because sometimes when they find their person, like obviously Carolyn is Glory's person. It's hard, guys. It's really hard to continue working with glory on an everyday basis because think about it sometimes you live in a certain place where your neighbors hear your birds and you can't put in the training because if you do a bird like glory she's probably one of the you're probably one of the worst cases i've ever seen honestly glory you are so sometimes when you have a bird as loud as Glory, and, and not just loud, okay? These birds are loud, but she's noisy because she doesn't stop. Where do you wanna go? You wanna go on the sand? You wanna get a head scratch? 
then you will give in because if you take that time to let them scream for 10 minutes while you're trying to retrain them the consequences of screaming versus the reward for not screaming, you're gonna be getting a lot of screaming and therefore your neighbors will come and there'll be complaints and so sometimes you're in a situation where you just want the bird to stop and so you keep appeasing that. And when you keep appeasing that, then you're gonna keep getting that. So sometimes people don't live in the exact surroundings where they they can put in that work if you understand what I'm saying this is a bird that's had these issues for a long time it's not gonna go away in a day this is gonna take consistent training yeah Rocky's talking if you guys hear. This is gonna take consistent training, different kind of training, rewards, execution, and your bird possibly has less issues than Glory. Anyway, we did come a, a little leeway with her yesterday and there were a lot of exciting things. Like I was able to be in the kitchen around her without her screaming without her needing to be on me, which was amazing. What's going on? Are you jealous of the camera? Stop. Okay, do you guys hear that? Stop. Woo. Stop. Oh my God, you scared me. So we're keeping some of the birds contained while the macaws are out. Just so we get like used to it, but they're all pretty good, right? Guys, look at Brando. Brando's so adult now. I'm gonna take him a while to get through this almond, but he's gonna do it. When you give them things like this, they will naturally trim their beaks, which is one good point. They'll be working on their food, similar to like foraging, but it keeps them extremely busy. And three, they also know how to soak their own nuts. You'd be very surprised. A lot of people are like, you have to soak the nuts for the birds. And well, it's good, but they, they know how to do it themselves. If you know birds, you know that. You also have an almond? So some of the birds that I have will open this and then go take it to some water and they'll soak it. It's really cute. Quiet. What do you want? <laughs> I mean, I'm just actually thinking right now. I'm like, this house is really quiet. Like, Glory's quiet. They're all eating. Mm -hmm. Feeding them keeps them quiet. It's amazing. Rocky's got apple. Are you giving everyone apple? I'm giving everyone apple. We'll Ooh, call you we'll Grandma Naora. Your hair's so pretty. Thank you. Guys, it's, the silence is amazing. <laughs> Pretty impressive. <laughs> you fly so beautifully. You fly, and this is why we don't have some birds out, because I don't know where love is gonna land. Step up. You wanna step up? Step up. Step down. Step down. Good bird. I wanna tell you guys one thing. I forgot to tell you, how did I get Glory to step up to me? Because if Carolyn was here, Glory would probably not step up to me. Maybe go to bite me. Honestly, don't know. I've never been able to handle Glory before in her presence, which is completely normal for birds. And it's also normal for birds to kind of either be very aggressive when they're left with other people because they just don't trust anyone else or to look for that other person to kind of bond with and they choose somebody. So if you have a rescue, that could take a long time, right? In this case, I thought it would take a long time, but I just approached her with no fear and she just kind of stepped up. Hey, Mango. How's Mango today? Mango is like, I never seen such crazy birds in all my life. Are you still on this? Yeah, so this element has been a lot of activity. They're much calmer now, I would definitely say. Right? Yeah. Yeah. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I had so much fun. Don't forget to subscribe. Check out my... Ooh. Wow, what did you find? Wow. Check out my store, parrotstation.com for a lot of fun and exciting things. We got Vinny gang hoodies, we got Vinny notebooks, ornaments. We got all sorts of fun stuff up there. Little Jersey keychain plushies. Don't forget to subscribe. Check out the rest of my videos. This is gonna be a fun little series. I hope you stay tuned for me pranking my parents and showing Jenna the birds. I love surprises, as you guys know. I love you guys so much. Bye!
By the way, don't forget if you guys are looking for an amazing bird food brand for your bird that is healthy, organic, and not full of food colorings and sugar and peanut smash, check out Marlene's signature blend. I did this along with Topps Parrot Food. We just launched in the UK. Northern Parrots now sells our food. You guys have been asking for it, you got it. Also, Things for Wings in Canada sells our bird food right now. I'm proud to announce and they will ship it to you. I encourage you guys to check out my Feathered Fun Box. It's a passion project. It's a subscription box that comes with parrot toys for your bird and also special merch. Kind of like my dream box. Honestly, I put so much into it. I love that there's something like this for birds out in the world. That's why I created it, www.featheredfunbox.com. I love you guys so, so much. Thank you for listening. Thank you.